guys, welcome back to Hotel California. We are back in this episode where I am just casually walking away from zombies. Just casually, not even giving a care in the world. Just walking away. Just walking away. I'm, I'm not, I, I really just don't care. I'm just like, yeah, just casually walking. So now I'm just gonna spin a little bit because I need to go get some food. But yeah, um, last episode, basically if you guys haven't watched it, we went to go visit the hotel or the motel. And basically what we realized is that it's basically covered in zombies. Um, that doesn't mean I'm giving up on my hopes to go, uh... Oh, dang. Hey, H.M. Smith's attorney's house. I might go check that out. I might have some whiskey. How much you want to bet there's going to be whiskey in there? I can't get to it though yet. What do we have to do? Oh, what the heck? Why are the people running? Can I get over this fence? Yes, I can. Oh, shoot. That's not good. I thought that was one of those fences you couldn't pass. Yeah, let's not go that way. I just realized where we are. No, 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 you're not killing me. You're not killing me. But yeah, we're back here in this Let's Play, and last episode I was talking about why my brain was befuddled. Um, like I was saying before I got rudely interrupted. Okay, that should not be my fault. I did not- Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Run. Run for your life. Run through this back of zombies. Okay, I should see a lot more. Yeah, let's. Okay, let's try a duck. Let's try a. Ah, oh, dang it. Maybe if I. Maybe. Ah, oh, shoot. I'm dead. I killed myself. I killed myself because of this. Why was this disease? Like, seriously, I don't know what the disease was. Seriously, why was it. F Ugh. What the heck? Just kill me. Just kill me now. Just, 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 I, I, I don't even believe this. Oh my goodness. What the heck happened? Like, what the heck was that disease? Oh my goodness. Like, I, I don't even know. I don't even know. Ugh. Alright guys. Bring you guys back when we make our new character. Okay guys, we're back in the main screen and let's begin the next Hotel California. I mean, I will eventually do this once I get a really good character. Like, once a character actually starts establishing the fort, I'll probably stop making new worlds. But since we're still in the very beginning, I'll still be able to make new worlds. And I don't want to be a girl, I want to be a guy. I'll be James Thomas. Okay, I sound like an engineer, so this will fit my character perfectly. So let's see, what do I want? I want him to be... Yeah, there we go. Let's see, let's get him... He'll, he'll be gray, he'll have gray hair this time. Beard, why not? Let's have a little bit of a good goatee. Uh, he's going to be a construction worker, because it's the best class ever. Let's play. But yeah, last episode I did talk about, like, my refuddlement of Catherine. It, it's... Uh, now I'm going to give spoilers, because it's like the very beginning of the episode and I can do that. Basically, guys... What happened was is that um, you basically get to decide which girl you want to end up with, and due to the choices, it's very very hard to tell like what you really want. Well, besides making like those morally right choices of all those kind of things, but just just the just it's very hard to tell who you want to end up with. All right, and just for the sake of argument, this guy decided to choose the quote unquote bad person end up with and let's see do we have any good stuff around yet no okay the, or the girl or the girl that normally everyone would say would be the bad person you know like if, if you're like going for good or bad you know like those kind of things this would probably be the one that'd be the bad it, it's so weird because then the good the they have actually a good ending for the bad character and it's just like it blows my mind it like literally blew my mind when I saw it. I was like what what the heck you mean like all this kind of stuff with supernatural powers and like I said they're all spoilers so just be careful and just the fact that she's like a actual succubus that it blew my mind it just it like legitimately my mind was blown at that point I could not I, I could not like sit down and think because it was just like I, I was trying to decide in my head was he wrong or was he right like First off, was he right about the cheating thing? You know, was it technically cheating? Because, I mean, it wasn't technically his fault. But he was cheating, because it is her job to go around and seduce guys. 
but then again it's, it's kind of like you know you mess up you mess up but it's kind of her job to cause trouble between relationships and so you just I, I just felt so confused about that and then the ending for the girl for the for the, like bad girl just confused me even more I was like I don't know if I should be happy for this because on one hand he found the girl he loves on the other hand he found the girl that is a demon basically a demon from hell pretty much the princess of hell and he ends up with her and he basically gives up humanity for him because of love which is you know good noble effort on your part you do gain a kingdom out of it if you get all the endings but still it confuses me that brings my mind to just be like so confused because like it's it's not the typical Hollywood ending he even states that it's like it's not the typical romance that you would see in like Hollywood or something or it's not with the crowd I guess the, the real question would be it's not with the crowd that'd be his real statement but it's still so confusing it's just still I'm still not my head's still not like completely process it by the time this video comes out my brain my brain would probably have processed it a lot better but at this present time my brain is just so like befuddled and you know I'm sorry if I gave you guys some spoilers like I said I did say spoilers a couple times so please no one like, get mad at me in chat that I ruined that game though I probably guess most of you guys are probably not gonna play that game because most of my fan base is uh, strategic gamers most of it oh that is lucky that is just lucky right when I was about to say that I'm not gonna go upstairs because I don't want to deal with zombies up there they instantly give us this and I have some playing cards so this will be what we will use and I will you know I'm not gonna wear any more vests or any more shirts until they fix that because that is just such a I, I, I don't even know how to say it that's just it's just wrong to like kill someone because of they have a shirt on seriously that, that, that is just so wrong just so wrong but yeah oh shoot did I put it inside the container Okay, yeah, you can tell guys, I'm not exactly the pro at this game I should be, but, eh, I don't care. Yeah, I just, I, I don't know why I even said that to you guys, it's just, I, I'm one of those guys that really do love morality and situational things, because, to me, even though I would never, even though I would never let the, uh, what is it called, the situation get to that point, like, First off, if it was me in that game of Catherine, I would probably have dumped the girl, I know. Probably not the funnest path. No bathroom zombies. Okay, this is probably where I'm going to get myself killed. Let's see. Alright. Nope, okay. Alright, but, you know, I would never, like, personally, I would never have let myself get to that point of, like, having those two like having the situation get to that point out of control because there were many points I could have seen that he could have like easily gotten out of it but he just kind of s the main character Vincent just kind of escalated the situation by keep being you know this and that but you know I was I take everything kind of as if it was me like every time I do anything watching a video doing stuff you know even putting up YouTube videos even I imagine what would be like for me to watch this video or imagine like what would be like for you guys to like do stuff and so you know basically guys um what i'm trying to say is that it just you know he already like the fact that he already went through that you know already went through all that kind of turbulent things and turbulent times and just you know he did do i mean i could sympathize with him i could sympathize with all those kind of troubles and yeah it just it just confuses me and then you know it technically is not cheating like I said because the fact that she is technically it's a job to do those kind of things like you cannot blame someone for if the job is to be um I was what I kind of compare it to is that you can't blame the you can't blame the person for you know ah oh, never mind uh this kind of gets me in a very it's just it's just a very gray zone kind of like ending not they do have the typical stereotypical oh I love the pistol <laughs> They do, I was about to say, they do have a very good stereotypical ending, which is more of what I can actually, like, say, because then it's actually clear-cut of, that was good, that was bad, that was, you know, morale, right, that was morale, bad. In this, I just can't tell. It's just, it's just one of those things. I, it, it, it's just one of those things. I just cannot tell. Okay, let's back out slowly. If I remember correctly, there was nothing in here. 
Yeah, nothing in here. Um, don't really want to check over there because I feel like there's going to be something in here. But anyways, guys, that's about an episode. This was kind of a little bit longer episode because I had to rant about that because I kind of left you guys hanging last episode and I felt really bad. So I want to thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next time.